hello, hello, hello. I got some herbs on my face. Hi, everybody. So that wasn't the activation. That was just an initiation to get everything started. Number one, I'm so glad to see you guys. I'm so, so happy to see you. Um, let me bring you guys closer. So I'm going to tell you, I'm going to do a couple of readings of what I was getting in the download in the spiritual realm. It was so heavy. It's so crazy today, you guys. So and many of you, um, for first off, thanks for joining. Thanks for joining. Taking this time to like set this time out for your day is so important. It's really, really going to help you drastically. I can really tell you like what I know. Many of you know yesterday and last night was very, very hard for me. Um, going through soul activation on top of fasting, on top of um, a lot of things, I guess more so um, taking this new position of 2021. So um, last night was very, very, very hard for me. Last night was just, it was just emotional. I mean, I've never had, I haven't had a night like that in years, but I'm glad I had it because I was able to realize that the, during this activation period of time it taught me the str the strongest part of who I was um, and I had to go through some personal things now I wanted to let you guys know that I'm okay I am perfectly fine um, but it was something that that needed to occur so during this time during this activation the reason why you might be experiencing a lot of highs or lows or emotional things that are going on right now it is because for me it was because I was missing like my celestial family I was missing my my star family I was I felt alone um, because often being in this this being here on earth or being in this position is not a lot of times that you can talk about things or discuss things because you always have to be in your earthly god body right so i just felt alone like i didn't feel like i had anyone to connect with and i just that's why i expressed everything to you guys because i felt like it was so important that i give you guys like all of me not just the good parts but the you know everything so um i was missing my soul family like i could literally feel them calling me and yesterday was pretty rough too because um, I had went to go get my daughter some um, some food for like to make dinner or whatever. She's like, "Mommy, I want tacos." I was like, "Okay, baby." So I went to go get her some food and um, or get the food so I can cook it. But I was still like very like somber, like down, like I've never been before. And I was just like, "What is taking over me? Like, what is what is coming over me?" So the spirits gave me the message of three through three. They showed me I smiled, but I wasn't enough. So then when I was leaving on the way home, I saw um, a rainbow. And um, But before my day starts, I always get uh, messages on, I do strong, heavy divination with spirits to find out, you know, what the day is going to be. And they told me that I was going to receive a message, and I did. But I had an overwhelming amount of emotional energy to just hit me and I know it wasn't the fasting because I fasted before but I knew it was my calling my longing to want to connect with my soul family like to want to just be with my star celestial people and um, you know they came in and gave a beautiful message for me they healed me overnight through my sleep so I did a lot of traveling astral projecting they called in someone that is more, um, that was a, a high assistance for me, that is here in the physical, that I do know her and I know her work. Um, so they called, called her in and then they called me in from a higher perspective and it was so beautiful. I, I, the messages, I had them here. I'm going to share them with you guys because they had a lot of messages for you guys and why this had to take place. And the reason why I had to make that shift last night, it, it was because it, I needed to do it before this day. So it had to happen. So, um, you know, everybody shift is at different times, but mine had to happen last night. Okay. So with that being said, I'm glad it happened. Um, I wouldn't change it for the world. It was, it was, like I said, a more so just emotional, uh, uh, a high, high, um, 
high emotions. Like, I just felt very sad. It was nothing that could really make me happy. It was, I was just very sad. I was longing to connect with my family. So anyways, um, they told me to do an activation today. So let me explain to you why today is going to be an activation. Today is, um, I got a divine message and um, the message reads, I'm not gonna read all of it because the majority of the message was for me, but there was a big part of the message that was for you. So the first part of the message that Spirit had came through and you guys, you have to remember, these are 2 a.m. downloads. These are early, early in the morning. Um, so one of the things is, let's see. Sorry, I want to make sure I'm on the right day. <laughs> um, okay, so um, so I always begin to channel as I write and I talk about the new year as we're going into the new energy. But Spirit reminded us that today is the awakening of a new soul. Your vessel is now open to new energy that will assist you in 2021. So everything that you were supposed to shed or let go, you should have let it go yesterday. Or you can let it go today, but it should have been let go today. Like, that's why my activation occurred last night. Like, like really, it really hit me last night. So, um, and then also, it begins to talk about me. Let me see. Okay, so, let me get into the part where Spirit gave you guys the message. Because Spirit has a strong message. Okay. So many of the areas that were um, that needed to be activated during this time, you um, have the opportunity to activate them now, but mostly, you know, uh, yesterday, but mostly now. Um, so the new awakening is actually at this moment, it's very moment today. So at this moment, there is an awakening now. The shift is already here. If you're waiting for midnight, you're waiting for something that's just too long, too late. Today is this moment. It's at this moment. While the sun is peaking, the sun has risen. It's already a new year. So we're already in the new shift or the new awakening. At this point, you should have um, entered into your new avatar, your new, um, not necessarily avatar, but your new higher self, your activated activated being. It should You should be there. Also, Spirit is saying that, um, Spirit had told me that upon this activation, many of you will feel like, crazy shifts like emotionally physically tired um or you might be kind of like aloof or you might just not really be ready to commit spirit is definitely here because the wind is just is blowing i like i've never met it before um but it you can sometimes feel tired during this activation you will feel like get really sleepy or you might feel a lack not to complete things not to do things not to see things through or you just might have a lack of non-commitment. Some of you, that if you started the fasting, you some of you could have already kind of like broken the pact or whatever. Or some of you could have, you know, or whatever the case may be. But you would just feel that kind of like a, almost like a resistance, right? It's not a resistance. Spirit is letting you know to just flow. So many of you, I wanted to give you good news. Um, if you are doing the uh, fasting and you wanted to stop today, you could stop at this very moment and still be perfectly fine. But I always say, listen to your soul, listen to your spirit, listen to what you need. So um, as I got the messages, that spirit was letting me know that I didn't need to continue the fasting anymore for any more days specifically because my activation had already occurred it only needed to be done up until activation point and the activation already occurred so there is an eagle that is flying right here or a bird i can't see exactly if it's an eagle it's big as hell thank you spirit thank you so um so the activation you had to do it up until the point of activation so i would recommend that you connect with your spirit and your soul and this session is going to help you do that it is going to help you with connecting with your spirit and your soul to help you activate um your higher self and become your your higher self now what will occur i'm going to tell you what to expect as you're connecting with your higher self your higher self will give you a symbol and a symbol and oh excuse me no, 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 no. Excuse me. It's all that fasting. A symbol of activation. So you will get a symbol of activation of um, maybe an animal, a particular animal you might see during this activation. Um, you might get a, a certain symbol, like a, 
like a um a sigil symbol like a certain symbol you might see something um or you might see an actual physical person you might begin to see your higher self um you might um get a particular um uh, amulet like a certain protection something um whatever it is that's between you and your your higher self okay that is between you and your spirits and what you need now what the spirit your higher self or whatever you're connecting with is going to give you that symbol because that is going to be something that you need to use as part of your activation for your light body okay today so you want to keep that you want to visualize that symbol whatever symbol you're given and you're going to keep that for you during this activation now that symbol is your form of protection it's your form of truth it is your form of power as you are moving into the as is as today is already activated okay i don't want to say moving into because we're already here so that is your power you will begin whenever you feel sad whenever you feel weakened whenever you need strength whenever you don't feel you're going to call on that all day every day when you wake up in the morning you're going to call that symbol in because what you're doing is now ushering in your higher self to be with you at that moment so you can continue to move in your activated present your activated body okay um so that is the symbol that you are going to receive so today is the new awakening it already has been activated it was activated this morning at two in the morning also um uh there are a lot of distractions right now okay spirit is saying our source is now open and the distractions are keeping others far from calling in their soul and moving forward so you must do a sound activation to help assist in that awakening now in that um in in that distraction what you will notice is that the digestion or the ingestion of foods okay when you ingest food some of you could be so focused on staying or committing to the four-day fast that it can be distracting you from your activation some of you um, that this is only for those that have that feel like they have not activated some of you could be um, not just distracted you could be all you could be in the fast and you'd be like okay I'm taking this fast and getting up to this point but then when you get up to the point of like the four days or the five days you uh, you gonna be like oh what what's next you know you're gonna be looking for something next so that's why spirit is saying that if you feel that you have completed your activation you may stop your fast if you feel if you do not feel that you have completed the activation you want to keep going keep going until your soul or until you get your symbol to let you know okay if that makes sense um so please 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 um even with eating now spirit did give me um direct information how how you should break your fast number one if you are if you feel that it's time do not break your fast with going with, I'm not going to say do not, sorry. Try not to break your fast with going with foods that you feel like you miss, right? So, see, someone said they ate a burger and they were sick all night. Try not to break your fast with something like that. Spirit did give direct, direct orders on breaking the fast. Many of you are going to be ready to go ahead and start with um, smoothies, like um, light green green vegetables so like spinach smoothies um yeah don't 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 fast if you're pregnant i always say try not to fast while you're pregnant because the baby will you need to eat while you're pregnant but um you know many of you can some some of you will be able to start or breaking that fast so you want to start off with smoothies today something light um, uh, you might want to start off with a salad, but I would definitely say start off with a smoothie like that That's how I'm going to usher in mine with a smoothie right now I'm still drinking some water, but I'm going to usher in mine with a smoothie and then tomorrow I'm starting a raw food uh, Vegan journey. That's a whole nother thing, but that was given to me. That's what I felt called to that's what my spirits guided me to so you might feel something do different but you can try to um, get something very light. I would say try to do smoothies, try to do juices, try to ease your way on into it because you want to make sure that you're still um, at a certain level during this activation time as of for today. Okay, I want to make it very clear for today because this is activated day. Then also, um, Spirit did inform me of when you do activate what you will feel is um you will feel a sense of peace serenity joy happiness now not necessarily happiness but it will be joy 
um you will also feel a sense of a strong connection to yourself like that bird is still flying circling so you will feel a sense a peace of joy and um it will be with you all over you will be more clear about what you're doing who you are and where you're going okay um so i just want to let you guys know to my soul family if you are still fasting and you still feel like it's necessary for your activation continue to do so please do not stop please don't let this message make you stop in your tracks okay this message is for those that feel activated it was only a few spirit did let me know this is not for everyone that there was only a few amount of people that already had activated and they just needed to do it up until basically this morning like to early this morning till activation um till the sun had risen to the activation of the day okay but if many of you feel like or i'm not many of you but if some of you feel like you could okay you know what it's time I've, i feel more i feel activated this is it then please if you do break your fast break it with like smoothies salt be gentle okay um so yeah let's go ahead and get started with this activation your soul activation remember i mentioned your spirit your soul your god your knowing your inner peace your being whatever is going to give you a symbol it's going to give you something that only you will know and you will be able to have this and carry you in this time now and moving forward you will be more clear about who you are you will be more um, purpose driven about who you are and you are hundred percent activated and when I say activated I'm talking about on a soul level for 2021 because the the downloads for 2021 are so strong and powerful so let's go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead and begin a drum I'm gonna turn the camera around so you guys are not focusing on me what I recommend is that you take a few deep breaths and you close your eyes and you place your heart on your hand i mean your hands on your heart or you can just sit there in whatever way you can do mudras if you know the mudras you can do any symbol whatever you want to call forth this is a mudra whatever you want to do this is a mudra whatever you want to do okay you can do mudras how what it makes you feel comfortable so i'm going to go ahead and turn it around i want to thank you guys for being here into what we need to lead into we call for each and every soul to be here at this very moment 
to listen to the beat, to hear the sound of the drums as we've activated our ancestors to come forth as we've activated the wind, the trees to come forth, as we've activated the fire to come forth, the earth to come forth. and the element of water. All of these elements will be combined to come forth at this very moment to help with activation, to increase our intuition, to move forward in 2021, we are activated. At this moment, we call forth each soul to come down into the vessel and the body and the spirits that are here at this moment, that have joined, that are here, that are now activated by the sound of my voice. Calling them in. Join. Join. You will begin to show each and every person their symbol, their amulet, their form of protection, power, and truth. This will help in their activation. The symbol will come down and they will see it and they will know it. This symbol is a part of their activation. It's a part of their soul. It's a part of their life being. This is their vehicle to access you, spirit. This is their vehicle to access their higher self. We are now intentional as we have our symbol, as we are now activated. And the parts within our body and our soul that needed activation are now opened up, whether it's the root chakra, whether it's the sacral chakra, whether it's the solar plexus, our power, our truth, whether it's our heart that needed healing, whether it's our voice that needed to be spoken, because our voice will now activate our symbol. Our voice will now take us with our symbol. It is helping in our activation. Nothing can be activated without our voice, our throat chakra. We have now opened it up. We are very clear. We are very concise. We are moving in truth. We know the truth. We speak the truth. We are the truth. We become the truth. And we can visually see everything with our third eye. We can see our symbol. We know our symbol. This symbol is breathing. It is alive. It is us. We know that we can call forth this symbol whenever we need to. And we activate this symbol right now with the words of my, our mouths. We begin to say it's activated. It's activated. Speak life into your symbol. Say it's activated. Activate your symbol with words, with sound, with power. It will not activate without your words. Whatever you have to do, place your hands on your chest and say it's activated because it is now activated once you have given it power with your words you cannot give it power without words it must have sound once it has sound it's now activated that is your source that is your truth that is your life that is your north node
activation has occurred and you are now in total control of your vessel for 2021. Draw the energy up into your crown chakra. You will see a white light above your head and you're going to connect with it. And you're just going to take a couple of deep breaths. Just breathe this through. Breathe it through your body. It needs to go all the way through your, your vessel, your body. You will feel this activation. You will begin to feel light. Just breathe. All right, family. Hi, child of ocean. Hi. Hi, everyone. So we um, have now activated. You just activated your activated body, your light body, your macabre, your vehicle to get to your soul, your vessel, for your soul, your vessel to communicate and literally some of you had emotions some of you didn't some of you you just know you know you know so I want to read about why today is activation day and why it's a day of mastery and mastery of self so today it, it hit me during the, the download that I got why it was so important that today at this moment right now is activation and not tonight at midnight 
Today is activation because I worked the numbers. Spirit kept on telling me a name. And I worked the numbers and I realized today is mastery. Today is a day of 11. So 11 represents mastery of self. Mastery of high degree of self. So when we look at mastery of high degree of self, it is shown to us in the tarot card as the justice card. The mastery of self. The seven are the seven bodies of light or the seven planets within our body are now activated so it's i believe i'll go through here and i'll read them i know it's mercury it's pluto it's venus mars jupiter um saturn and let's see mercury is the first key the moon is the second key venus is the third key jupiter is the tenth key mars is the 16th key the sun is the 19th key and saturn is the uh, 21st key now what that means i'll go ahead and tell you what body parts those resonate with when i get to it so in just a minute here but i wanted to let you know that today is a day of mastery of self so anything that is going to elevate your soul or do something in a high degree of connecting with yourself it must be you're in mastery which means you are at its highest degree so that's why activation is today when you work the numbers of day of today which is 12 31 2020 it gives you the number 11 11 2 is actually its higher form 2 is the low form 11 is the high form so some of you could be activating at a level 2 so if you activated at a level 2 that means you're operating in the lower principle which just talks about finding balance and the, the number 2 principle represents the high priestess okay the high priestess and the number 2 energy is um, there could be a lot of force or will that is going on in your life right now but a lot of resistance and you should be open to to change okay but many of you if you are activating correctly which we just did you are activated on the 11th, 11th principle which is much higher okay it's a higher degree it's the justice principle now with that being said 11 is 11 and 44 is mastery numbers of course we know that um, 22, 33, and 44, they're all master numbers as well. But 11 represents um, power. All master numbers are powerful because they accentuate the vibration of the base number to which they can be reduced to. As an 11, you can draw upon cosmic forces for inspiration and for aiding in attainment, enlightenment, and even cosmic consciousness. And that's what we just did. You pronounce, uh, I'm sorry, your pronounced intuitive abilities can guide your original intuitive and creative mind. As you will probably be a leader in some way, you must use these vibrations um, wisely. Remember, we talked about wisdom yesterday. That is why wisdom is here to usher in this higher point of thinking and viewing. A true mastery of service, you will need to be practical as well as idealistic in your role. Right now, um, foresight is to be used at this moment because you are now operating at a, a higher level and mastery. So you should have foresight of, of what is going ahead for the future, for the ultimate goal. And I think I just saw another rainbow. Um, so you are going to have um, mass. You, have, you need to have foresight for the future, not just now. OK, that's a part of the activation. Now, um, the next part of this is what it means. So the mastery number period can be experienced on a level two vibration. And, and that's only if you cannot live up to the 11th vibration. So going into 2021, if you cannot live up to the mastery number of 11, which is the highest vibration, it's the mastery of self, of the one, of the being. If you can't live in that vibration, you are going to go to a level two. Now, the level two, which I talked about, was the high priestess, okay? And the level two, the the characteristics of that is um like i mentioned before like it, it's a moon ruled energy so it, you'll probably stay in your subconscious a lot you won't activate the the conscious the subconscious and the super conscious okay these are all things that are a part of the um the number 11 but if you operate in the number two the number two is receptive and it builds on cooperation and peace but you will find yourself constantly dealing with internal conflict constantly dealing with internal things you won't be able to reach the high expectation of mastery that's the 11 okay so back on the number 11 um 
So with uh, the number 11, you will have to make decisions quickly. So this is what I talked about, why I was going through what I was going through last night, because Spirit was letting me know. It was kind of like an upgrade. Like um, sometimes I get delayed on decision making. Like me being a Libra, oh my gosh, I could teeter-totter for a while. I told you guys this before. Like I could teeter-totter for a while. But it's letting me know that's why I had to go through that upgrade last night was that you have to make decisions quickly why because sudden events that come up will require decisive action they will cause for you to be decisive and wise okay um experiences occurring now are exciting stimulating and likely to make you impulsive so you must be patient and tolerant in this part in this um activation now the number 11 represents the um how do i wait because i saw something else i wanted to read okay um, the power of 11 must be made into something tangible and useful. So you must be using this energy with foresight, like I mentioned before, like, um, you know, classes or like learning about your spiritual involvement, doing classes, doing something like metaphysical or learning about your vibration, high, um, like the sounds that we just did for activation, high vibrations, high sounds, connecting to your source, to your soul body, to your light body, so it can become activated, okay? It is the symbol of um, high vibration. Now, it also is the symbol of mediumship, clairvoyancy, psychic ability, whatever you want to call it. I just say intuition because your intuition is going to guide you in the number 11, okay? Your intuition is going to be the strongest point that you need at this point. Um, so you need to surround yourself with culture. So people that are in your liking or people that are in your group, people that are in your soul tribe, your soul family. That is why I was crying out to my star family last night. I was literally weeping, okay, out to my star family last night because that is this energy. So you're going to be um, my celestial family. Like I know I cannot connect with my celestial family because what happens is as we descend right your star family might say that one person um, within the family or a couple people within your group or your family or maybe a thousand whatever the number is you have to descend to do particular things and for me I've been knowing since I was a young girl I didn't know that I was a medium I just knew I was different I knew I was very very special I've always known that but for me um I was crying for them because I wanted to be back with my family. Like I didn't care about anything earthly. I didn't want. I don't. I didn't want to participate in anything earthly. Like I could care less about earth matters, and I wanted to just be in the stars. So that's why at this point you are going to have the need, or it's it's important to activate your culture to make sure you're in the right space with the right people. Okay, because if not. What happens during this activation, remember you have the two levels of mastery, of sorcery, of energy. The 11th, which is the highest degree, and you have the second degree, which is number two. So the number two is the Vulcan energy. It's the in energy in between Mercury and Mars, okay? That's where um, you get that kind of like that shadowy energy. It's the, it's the Vulcan energy. Um, some of this is, might be a little bit too deep, but if y'all wanna know more, y'all know I told y'all about this book. This is my baby. I've had this for a very long time on my journey. And the spirit just told me to pull it out again today. Like, so, you know, if you really want to get into some stuff, just start here. Now, um, now, um, as the number 11, like I mentioned, you need to surround yourself with culture. You're likely to have a lot of dreams, vision, uh, rev revelations under this influence. So remember I talked about the ancestors could be coming through for you um, because this is a very important time because it's activated time. Um, so it's spirit is saying that you are already prepared mentally and technically um, about your talents and you have to recognize them someone might help you recognize them or you might be put in a position to um, For them to awaken or something might occur, but at this point all of you should be into your studies your books um, This is the, the divine triangle of numerology or numerology and the divine triangle. Sorry numerology and the divine triangle by um, faith and dusty bunker I always say Dusty Bunker because I never remember Faith's last name. But this is this is a powerful baby. This is a powerful being. So all of you at this point should be um, highly um, in your books, in your studies, in your practices. You should really be learning all that you can about your soul and yourself and why you've come here. 
you when the symbol that you just got that is going to help connect you to a lot of past events okay so keep the symbol that you got if you can't remember it write it down my symbol i know i can remember it but write your symbol down if you can't remember it. but this is something you're you're going to remember it because it's the only symbol no one else will have your symbol so at that moment you know that that symbol is going to usher you in now let's continue um so it also says that um the spotlight will be on you this season because of the number 11. So remember we talked about when you're people that have not activated this light body or their macabre, they will look completely than you, completely different than you. You will be so activated that people will see you like it's crazy. They will know. They will want to be around your energy. And that's part of the reason why I was crying. Like I was just ah, emotional because I was like, you know, I'm so tired of people just wanting to connect with me. For my light body energy versus connecting with me as a soul you know but yeah anywho so number 11 represents the justice card um the justice card is here as you can see this is the representation of the justice card so as you see this is the consciousness okay this person that's sitting on their throne they're very conscious about their thoughts and then the two pillars on the side represents um the pillars not the sword and not the the um the scales and i'll go into that in a minute but the two pillars represent staying in between the the subconscious the the moon the receptive energy remember i talked about this season you have to be very very receptive in order to go so um you know the receptivity of things is going to be where you need to stay in balance and when you're receptive you want to be able to receive the super conscious which is the yellow okay some of this might go a little deep but hey just stick it out um, so you're in between the balance of it all, okay? Um, the scales represents um, finding that balance and then for justice to be served, it also represents for you to get all that you desire because when it goes on the scale and it's, it's weighed as light as a feather, if your heart is as light as a feather, you get all that you are desire. So that is why it's important that you must be connected with your heart and your heart must be light as a feather as you're moving forward like for real for real okay the the sword represents the truth the activation of your truth that's what you just got you you guys just did that you just did that right um you know you just you just had the activation of the truth because you just called down your symbol so um the keys to 11 11 is also about the lesson of activation wow this wind is blowing i've never felt it like this um, you must use discrimination. So it's letting you know that you must eliminate mistakes from your thoughts. So, um, you know, you could be like, oh, I made a mistake and be so down about it. Or you could just be like, damn, it happened. Some stuff happened and I'm moving on, you know, or whatever the case is. So you must have um, clear thoughts and you must not hold on to your thought pattern or your thought process with mistakes. You must be clear from that. Because right now, that will free up your mental blockage for you to manifest. That will free, that will, uh, free up your mental blockage for you to uh, create. Or excuse me, that will hinder it. So if you are having mental thoughts and you are not able to get a control on them, that is going to hinder your creative process, your consciousness. So the seven bodies, I hope I'm not speaking too fast. The seven bodies or seven parts of your body are activated are called the original planet the first one is mercury okay mercury is the, the thought of your conscious your mind what is going on in the mental what is going on here in the head what is occurring in your thoughts that is the mental okay the second activation of the body is the moon the subconscious what we are receiving the second body of that activation is your heart the moon that's where the moon resides in receptivity of just being flow that's what hit me last night because i was so in my head but then my moon had came in and hit me so when you combine the mind the heart then you get a clear opening to manifestation which we call the third activation of the third planet which is venus venus represents the key of three meaning that once you have a thought, once you put it into action, then you get rewards. Okay, I put that's on a that's on a physical level, right? That's on a level that we can understand. But 
on a spiritual level what it means is that once you put it in the spiritual realm once you bring it in the physical realm it will begin to manifest and overflow from the super the divine the universe will bring it in okay it, it will seem like where does this come from it will come out of nowhere things will be crazy okay so the mercury mercury is the mental venus i mean not venus the moon is the heart so putting those two together helps you move forward in your creative creativity and love and manifestation in love which is venus right that's what she rules or it rules um because it has masculine and feminine aspects um so then the next pentacle or the next activation we're going through the seven bodies within uh seven parts within the body is jupiter jupiter is that expansion of course we know that right so once you have activated that once you've put your thought into things and you combine it with your emotions your feelings and you put your your passion behind it and your creativity then now you get jupiter which will expand you right because you've are you're loving it and you're nurturing it now it's time for you to expand during the season this is only if you're activating on the 11th the 11th power right or 11th principle so now you're getting that activation on the 11th um like the 11th energy if that makes sense so um after jupiter it brings in that expansion you will see you'll begin to see things flourish on the material realm because jupiter do, jupiter does show up in the material you'll see things in in this realm in the physical then next you have mars mars is there for discernment for protection okay oh it's 11 11 yes we just walked through a portal we just walked through a portal we on the right track okay anyway so um mars is the key of um discernment it's also the key of um discipline okay discipline mars represents discipline so if you're staying disciplined to the previous things before remember i talked about you will be fine then next you have the sun which is illumination raw there's two parts of it but you have the sun i'm gonna just stick to the basics you have the sun which is illumination and that is what you are after that is what you just activated was your illumination and then you have saturn that comes after for the seventh key within the body as wisdom also discipline but mostly like father the father the teacher so that's where the 11th principle becomes activated from because you have seven chakras you have way more than seven chakras in your body but only people we most people are only aware of the seven that they have in their body those sevens are correlated with those planets those planets rule numbers those numbers are part of a activation within your vessel your body body your keys your keys okay so many of y'all might want to tag 19 keys because these are the keys that you get for activating okay these are the 19 these are the seven keys for activation you okay not you don't need me it just spirit had to bring it down in this form and now you're able to receive it through me but the activation is you baby okay so um da -da 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 yes okay i want to make sure i'm not rambling on um doo -doo 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 find harmonious energy in your environment and be in balance remember i talked about the scales operate in that energy being in balance and being harmonious and then the sword is the truth which you guys have activated at this point you now have raw potential energy the 11th represents raw potential energy you have something that was from a blank slate and now you get to turn it into something that you truly desire you want that's what the activation was about so you guys i, I know that was a mouthful i'll be saving this live i wanted to pull um a reading but i'm not because spirit is saying no um but i did bring it to let you guys know that what the energy was um now the super conscious is activated please use your day wisely use your time wisely um, if you're having a hard time with staying on schedule or doing things on schedule, um, I recommend that you write things down or you give yourself goals to meet with. Um, I definitely give myself goals every single day. So make three goals and tackle them today. Um, work in affirmations or affirmations, something that you make normal or part of your life. Don't begin them with I because I puts yourself out of yourself, if that makes sense. 
I separates you from you. So you might want to start off with, it feels good to know that I am this da 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 da. Okay? You might want to start off from that point. Um, I hope this really helps you guys. And um, this Saturday, if you guys are, you know, open, we are doing an ancestor class. This ancestor veneration class is going to be, number one, protection magic with your ancestors it's going to help with activating a part of protection with your ancestors um as you've moved into this new phase as we're in this new phase okay um it's also going to help with ancestor veneration it's going to give you a specific ritual that you are supposed to do to help with your ancestor veneration to venerate your ancestors or to activate them so that they can be activated properly so they can assist you with messages and so that you will be able to be assisted in this time coming forward with the new energy okay you won't be kind of thrown off about a lot of energies right now because you've activated so the class is going to be this saturday i haven't picked a time i'm going to let you guys vote so i was thinking about 12 p.m noon or 6 p.m in the evening Saturday is a very important day for your activation of your ancestors. If you guys don't know, according to a, the Mayan calendar, um, which it, it is broken down by Kabbalah and a lot of other standards, like a real, real occult shit, like heavy stuff. But um, if you guys don't know, the reason why I'm sharing this with you and the reason why I was guided to do the class on that Saturday is because that is a particular day where your ancestors are clear. There is it's so it's so thin to usher them in, according to count multiple comedic calendars. You can Google, you can look, you can download an app comedic calendar, and you'll see that the second is a very important day. So on that day, I will be doing activation. I don't want to do it too late because I want to give you time to activate it. So that's why I was thinking 12 p.m. Um, noon. But I'm gonna let you guys vote when you want, you know, to take a lap class. Maybe 12 p.m. or 4 p.m. That way, it gives you some time if you want to do something around six or later you can work with your ancestors but it's going to give you a specific ritual on um, working with your ancestors it's sorry for me it's kind of hard for me to look directly at you because the sun is coming right in but um the class is going to uh, work on activation so you're going to do something specific with the activation um what you will need is um for the class you will definitely need to bring your notepad your pen blah 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 you know all of that stuff um but one thing that if you are trying to activate them that night you will need one glass one clear glass three clear glasses or nine clear glasses whichever one that you want or need then you can get that ahead of class so you can have them okay yeah i was thinking about my west coast family so that's why i was thinking about in the afternoon um in the evening as well so we might just do later on the evening um i know it says on the website 12 so i'll take it off because i want you guys to really really be able to take this class number one um it's not for me it's it's for me as a teacher but i really really get a lot of dms every single day on ancestor work and on how to break um, hexes or how to remove curses or how to take things off of you. Sometimes it's not that you need to hire a spiritual somebody to take something off of you. Nine times out of ten, it's because you need to activate your altar properly. You need to have, you know, your, your ancestors activated. They are not properly activated. And if you are here, you are more than likely the black sheep. You are more likely the oddball in the family. So it only takes one out the whole family to make sure that the ancestors are moving forward properly so um i'll be doing this class saturday a little saturday january the second and um you can sign up at my website at www.alignwithariana.com it's already up there it's already on the website so you can just uh get your get your um uh, spot and um with the class, um, it will be like on Zoom, okay? The class will be the class will be on Zoom. You can get anywhere if you want to do your activation that night after class. I recommend you go ahead and get the these particular things beforehand. Number one, I recommend you go ahead and get your glasses. You can get one glass, you can get three glasses, or you can get nine glasses, okay? There's an image on the website. Um, that has what an ancestor altar should mimic or look like 
so you if you are looking to, to decide what kind of glasses look at that picture on the website it has those you want to get something like that a glass with a stem and we'll go and explain it and why so you want to do one three or nine clear glasses okay you want to have that beforehand before your class you also want to have a white cloth before your class and you also want to have a white candle before your class okay those are the only things that are required of course a pen paper you know you need that because you need a you need a study book you need a journal because this is your spiritual tools so you don't want to keep referring back to someone else. You want to you want to make sure you have what you need so you can go in deeper each and every time with yourself. So in this class, the class is $22 if I didn't mention that. It's super it's super low. Like all my classes are either tw they're 20 bucks. I always have them low. So the class is $22. Um, you know, the 22 is representation of union, partnership of love you and your ancestors. So um you know, um, I will be doing that class Saturday. Like I said, we're going to vote on time. So I'll put it on here. We'll let you guys vote on a particular time. And we'll just roll with that time. And I'll put it on uh, on the website. You will get an email for the link for the class where you will be able to sign up on the class. Um, with the class, I will tell you, we are going to do a and a We might do a and a after. Like, because the class, I don't want to take the time up for the class to be um like all of the information i want you to get everything you need especially the ritual that is one of the things that is very most important because many people start off with ancestor altars just putting glasses on the water and they think they've venerated their ancestors and that's not the case you have to do some sort of initiation a process to actually make them alive that's why many people don't see bubbles on their altar because or don't see bubbles in their glasses because they're just not properly venerated so it takes a little bit more than just, you know, buying water and putting it on the altar and buying a candle, putting it there and say, hi, ancestors, I'm here. This is me. Come here and speak to me. It takes a little bit more than that. So you have to have what is called an uh, invocation process or what I call a ritual. Now, this ritual you um, I had learned and this is a ritual that I had did. So I am willing to teach you guys and share. Um no it's not through cash app it's not through cash app it's on my website so you can pay on there i believe you can play pay uh paypal on my website i'm not for sure don't quote me but i believe you can on my website um so you can sign up for the classes on my website to sign up for the spot and you'll get a link the class is on Saturday, Ancestor Veneration. And then um, after that, we'll be doing another class uh, that is uh, specifically for activating a certain part of your body that you're going to need. But the Ancestor uh, class is going to be very helpful. Like I mentioned before, it's going to be a starter off with your um, Ancestor Altar, your veneration, your activation of your altar, and protection of your altar. Protection, you calling in protection for you. And doing protection with your altar or clearing or cleansings with your altar if that makes sense um, what to do what not to do um, and how to govern yourself accordingly with your altar so um, you can use your debit card yes you can use your debit card on my website you can yes you can on the on the website is totally secure a little bit more secure than cash app um, Okay, so for the class, I'm gonna save this live. I'm gonna save this. I'm gonna save this live. So for the class, you do need a white candle. Um, you will need a white cloth, and you also will need one, uh, one glass of water, three, uh, three glasses of water, or nine glasses of, the wa of water. Um, but don't put the water into them. Just get the glasses. Um, the glasses is what you choose. So you can do one, three, or nine. Whichever one you want to use, you can do just know the more you do the more work it is so if you are not ready for that type of work i always recommend starting off with one i started off with one i didn't just jump off and go into all these different numbers like i didn't just jump i started with one so i recommend that you start with one why because you are able to work the hell out of that one you are able to work the shit out of that one if that makes sense <laughs> I'm sorry for a lack of a better term of, of language, but hey, I'm being mean. 
you are able to work that one glass okay so that one I recommend you you do one but if you're feeling called to do three by three if you're feeling called to do by nine by nine it's a lot of work I will tell you and I have multiple altars that have multiple glasses so it's up to you um what type of white candle a small seven day so i like i said i have the picture on the uh website that's not my picture that is another worker's picture so um that is just how she showed a, a picture of her altar i'm assuming that was probably an altar that she had set up in the past i just don't show my altars because it's just so it's so personal to me um but let's see you can use uh like you can use a seven day candle i i always use seven day candles on my altars always if you want to use on the picture on the website it has like she has the big big candles i don't use those because they when they flow you have to clean the wax up and it sometimes can catch on fire so the safety part for me is i always recommend a seven day candle always and then seven day candles gives them a barrier we'll go into that but it gives them a barrier of, of uh, protection and sometimes you will find that the communication is more clearer because it's in a glass. Um, you will hear like popping sounds, we'll go into what that means, what that form of communication is, or you might see black smoke, you know, and that's completely different from white smoke. Um, so it just depends on. So you can do the gold and silver next to the white, but you need to make sure you get a white. A white is a must. Unless you have, I'm not even gonna go there because that's something completely different. For your ancestor altar, get a white, at least one white candle. You can use the, the gold and silver next to the white and I'll go into the ancestor class why or what those specific things are for, but you need to get a white candle as well, okay? The, get a, um, get a um a seven day candle so i'm not gonna be long i'm gonna get out of here i love you guys like i mentioned before if you're signing up for that class then it's only like 50 i think i'm only doing 50 spots i think uh, i'm not for sure it's 50 to 100 whatever amount that zoom lets you do um so i really really think that this will be beneficial especially to those that have, that send me dms about i'm going through something I promise you, I don't want your money. I want you to learn, okay? I want you to learn. So I love you guys so, so much. Peace. Love. Wadu.